So this is the fourth vlog that I've done today. I'm in a restaurant waiting for a table. Um, and I'm just going to keep going because I'm on a roll here. Um, in order to compress some of the reviews, to give you a two for one, I'm going to just talk about two Steven Soderbergh films I've seen in 2019. Steven Soderbergh is a uh, Academy Award winning director uh, who also won the Palme d'Or. He a lot of film a lot of film geeks love him. He's a very experimental guy. He's also he also does the cinematography, the camera work for his own films. Uh, I've seen ten films of his now, and I still don't even know if I like him. A lot of times, I kind of feel like he's more flash than style. His most famous works are the Ocean's Eleven trilogy, um, and he's he's very style based. Um, so. I saw High Flying Bird and The Laundromat on Netflix, and why did I see them? Because basically I own Netflix and they're free, they're free movies. Um, High Flying Bird is a really nice inside look into basketball, um, to a basketball prodigy and the people, uh, and the agent who's trying to guide his, his young charge away from sort of the pratfalls. The film, w the film was actually kind of shot, if I'm not mistaken, on an iPhone by Soderbergh, so it's got that experimental quality that sort of drives him and a lot of his films. The film is, it runs a little bit of Moneyball, or a little bit of the kind of 70s films um, that, you know, like Argo or something, or sorry, kind of 70s films that are a bit more jargony than they are, you know, talk of substance, but in this case I got the jargon. I love, I'm, I had a fixation on like what life is like for young basketball prodigies. Um, it certainly also steeped into some of the kind of African American culture, since and kind of the the narrative of coming from the inner city. Um, Andre Holland is kind of the only recognizable name. Zachary Quinto is also in it. I actually liked it quite a bit. The other film that I saw, which is significantly more high profile because it came out later in the year, the last few months of the year, sort of. Uh, Oscar contention type of films is The Laundromat, which stars Gary Oldman, Antonio Banderas, Meryl Streep, and a few other names. Um, it's a little bit like The Big Short. It's a film about um, sort of money laundering and pyramid schemes, but uh, it's probably not the best film of that caliber. I would call it... Um, it's a series of vignettes, and it's again, it's a film that boasts a lot of style. And this is a film where probably you feel that the indulgence of that style takes over more than the substance. I really like a lot of things in terms of, say, even the typology that sort of separates various vignettes uh, that are connected, stories of fraud that are connected to a certain company. In this case, the company is um, a real-life company that's at the headquarters of the Panama Papers with Antonio Banderas and... Oh, looks like something's happening. Hold on.